Did I just hear that? Was that an invite to the Grammys in my name? Was that the sound of the doors opening wide? When I was young, taking clarinet lessons, my teacher was this Russian lady who made me practice for hours. And every week we play through classical music. All the hits by Mozart, Brahms, Debussy, Haydn, Schumann, and I play. Then one day. I said, polka? She said, yes. <laughs> we play serious music. Only serious music. Polkas to Foxy, try Bach, we'll try Kofsky, Bjorsi. Trust me. <laughs> so obviously, I never brought that subject up to my clarinet teacher again. I went to school, studied music at Berkeley. And all day long, we'd learn how to stand on the shoulders of giants. And every class, we'd learn which music was worthy. Theorize and analyze who knew if it was art or science. And I drive. And I said, Polka? He said, Yikes! We write serious music. Only serious music. Write like Bernstein and Sondheim and Pally in no time, you'll see. Trust me. of the music that I wrote. As I look back, were my teachers all wrong? Have I finally found my song in the music I love most? But what if they were right and the music biz says, oh, it's Pally, the polka guy. They'll pass me by, cause that's all he'll ever be. That's all I'll ever be. No, that's not the life for me. So I'll make serious music, only serious music. Cause if we were to win it, there's no future in it for me. I need serious music. Polka's not serious music. If I were to stay and tell Jan okay, I'll write polkas all day. The world's gonna say.
You know the difference between a pizza and a folk musician? A pizza can feed a family of four. <laughs> I quit 